Hi, welcome to Physionic, where we learn the body from the macro to the micro. In this content known as the What's Up Doc series, we'll be discussing what your sodium lab results mean. Learn your body, a science-based education. If you want to know more about your lab results, I release content describing the science of every lab result right here. So what does your sodium result mean? Sodium is an atom like that you find on the periodic table in chemistry class, but I won't bog you down with the chemistry. It doesn't matter for understanding its role in your body or the value on your lab results. Physiologically, sodium is critical for your health because without it, you wouldn't be listening to me. You'd be dead. <laughs> sodium in the body helps retain water, which is certainly wanted because the body needs water to move molecules between tissues in our bloodstream, as well as within our cells. Sodium facilitates the retention of that water. However, if you like to think and move, sodium plays a crucial role there too. Our cells that allow us to move and think, known as neurons, use sodium to communicate from one cell to another, allowing us to generate thoughts, for instance. There are many functions of sodium, but ultimately, you know it is absolutely necessary to some capacity. However, what does it mean if your blood sodium levels are elevated? Typically, this is a sign of either dehydration, as water dilutes blood sodium, but can also occur due to excess sodium intake, although that's less likely. It can also be a sign of impaired kidney function, as the kidneys are responsible for dumping sodium in urine. Yet low blood sodium can also be a worry, because they can lead to muscle cramps, as muscle cells are controlled by these aforementioned neurons that may misactivate. More seriously, low sodium can lead to drops in blood pressure, as well as confusion and lack of cognitive ability, as neurons again misfire. What can cause these changes in sodium though? Well, not consuming enough sodium, which is difficult to do. Usually the opposite is true. Extreme exercise is another factor because we lose sodium in sweat as well. This is why we have sports drinks containing different atoms like sodium, but rest assured a 30 minute run is laughable for your body. It will have no effect. We're talking a marathon or more. Of course, kidney problems like cystic kidney disease as well as any number of drugs, especially blood pressure related drugs, all these factors and more can impact your blood sodium levels. Fortunately, in most of these cases, there are easy fixes. With that, I hope you feel more informed on what your blood test is telling your doctor and now you. And if you're interested in more of these different lab values, check out the rest of the series. And I hope to have the pleasure of speaking with you in the near future. Until then.